Your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman Free and the featured contracts. And today's contract, Walk the Plank of Shame, set on Sapienza. So today's briefing, Ahoy me matey, I see these fellow fish lubbers have left ye old boat, eh? Well, we gotta show them what it's like to be on the land for too long. When four crewmates leave your boat, it get personal. Gone are their days at sea together. Good luck. And today's contract has been supplied to us courtesy of Wiggly Weevil. So today we have four targets available to us. And one must be killed in an accident explosion. And that would be the golf coach Roberto. So for today's challenge, we will be starting undercover in the kitchens. We're going to have a silenced sniping rifle stored up at the ruins. And we're going to bring with us a silenced pistol and some coins. So right from the start and off the bat, I think this countertop is relatively clean now. So we're going to exit the kitchen areas and make our way towards Francesca's bathroom window, which is just here. We're going to go over this balcony area to avoid the camera. And once in here, we can then pass straight through into the observatory and we're going to collect up the Biolab key card from the back of the room here. And then we're going to make our way back outside and up the stairs to the roof where we will find amongst a few other items including a dirty great sword some propane cylinders now the nearest cylinder is just here on the roof in the center the others are in the attic so from here what we're going to do is retrace our steps once we have our propane cylinder and we're now going to go and put this in position where we can attack and get at Roberto. So straight through Francesca's room once we reach the ground floor out into the rear garden area and where the sun loungers are we're just going to place our propane cylinder just on the floor there just next to that table and then from here we're going to make our way back to Francesca's room be aware of the patrolling guard who frequents this corridor he's not currently here and we're going to make our way down into the ether bio lab and we're going to acquire ourselves a couple of items while we're down here so using the key card we've got we're going to make our way through the door down the stairs around to our right we're going to use instinct to check on the patrolling guard in the end of the corridor here and as soon as he turns his back, we can approach him, render him unconscious. Uh, he has all of the items that we need in this area, so we're just going to hide his body in the crate. We're going to take his shotgun, we're going to take the gun that's on the table, so we've got a couple of spare weapons, and we're going to take his outfit. And it's very useful to have these extra weapons. Uh, you'll see why in a few moments. So from here we can now exit the ether labs. We have everything we need. We have our coins and, and a few guns to lie around the place. So we're going to exit the ether labs via the cave entrance. Uh, just be aware that just around the corner here there is a camera. There it is. So we're just going to take that out real quick and then continue on along the pathway until we get to the Sapienza ruins. And this is where the rest of our targets will be. So our next target will be the guy right up the top of the tower. But on our way there, we are gonna set up a, a kill for the target afterwards. Now I don't actually recommend you using this method. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a bag of gunpowder from by the cannons here and we're gonna place it on the floor, just on the stairs here. Now, our target 
will eventually come along and he will lean on the balcony or the ledge and we can then blow him over that ledge using the gunpowder but as you can imagine that will trigger a panic so I don't actually recommend it I just recommend waiting for him and then pushing him over the edge for a, a much more silent kill but once that is done we're going to make our way into the tower retrieve our sniping rifle make our way up to the very top and we're going to render the guard up here our t second target unconscious with our briefcase and then we're going to try and throw him over the ledge although for some reason it was quite late when i recorded this i couldn't actually see the throw prompt so i didn't think it was showing up but eventually i noticed it and we can then throw our second target over the edge for an accident fall kill we're then going to retrieve our sniping rifle and locate the propane cylinder and we're going to take one shot at it as long as Rick, uh, Roberto isn't around and he is just over there on the phone at the moment so once we've taken our one shot all we have to do is await the arrival of Roberto and after he's finished his phone call he will make his way over to the sun loungers for a drink and when he arrives we can take our second shot so that's three targets now dealt with we're going to drop our sniping rifle but we are going to retrieve our briefcase because that is another item that guards will pick up and take away and you'll see why momentarily why I want so many items that people can pick up and walk away ie the guns and the briefcase so we're going to make our way back down the tower now and hopefully if my timing isn't too bad we should be pretty close to our next target arriving in the area unfortunately I'm a little bit ahead of schedule and he hasn't quite got here yet so we're just going to wait here for him now like I said I don't actually recommend using the gunpowder because it will create a panic it will slow things down and when the guards and everyone else goes into their panic their actions can be somewhat random so I recommend waiting for the target to be in that position before you just run down the stairs and throw him over the edge so now that we have detonated the gunpowder bag we are going to have to hide for a little while because as you can see the, the guards are coming straight here we can't just drop down here which would be ideal because then we could just grab our final target so we are going to have to wait for everybody to go back to their normal routine and there they go now they're just heading back down now these two guards will approach the final target and that's where they're all going to stay together so we need to remove both of the guards in some fashion and this is where the briefcase and the guns and the coins all come into play so we are going to select one of our disposable weapons walk about halfway down the uh, alleyway here drop our gun and then throw our briefcase to get their attention now one of the guards should come along hopefully will take the gun and somebody else will spot the briefcase and take that away now this will not always work in the same way there is an element of randomness to this so as you can see we have secured one of the guards but we have not managed to get the other one with the briefcase so once this guard turns around and walks off with the gun we are now going to just throw one of our coins nice and far down the area and hopefully that will get the attention of the other guard and he will take the briefcase now if what happens for you happens for me here and our target actually takes the briefcase and the guard just collects the coin this is why we have a spare weapon so as soon as that guard turns around and walks off he's going to go back to his position and we're going to drop our secondary disposable weapon on the ground 
and then use another coin to lure him over. We have a little bit of time before the first guard returns. So you do have time enough to do this if it doesn't go exactly to plan the first time round. And with everyone else out of the way, the guard will now see the shotgun, although he does take his time about it a little bit. He will go and remove that shotgun from the area. Just be aware that this guard is an enforcer, the one in the white top. And once he turns around, we can then slowly follow him down the, the alleyway here. And once he is a safe distance past our target, we can then pounce on our target, render him unconscious, and we're then going to drag him and throw him over the ledge just about here somewhere. So over you go, mate. That's for hanging around with bad people. You should have stuck to plants. So that is all of our targets taken care of. All that's left for us to do now is to make good our escape. And I've gone the wrong way. I've completely baffled myself. And we are going to head for the speedboat exit, which is the nearest and safest exit. And it's also one of the flashiest. So there we go. One more featured contract taken care of. That was quite a fun one, actually even though things didn't go exactly as I had planned. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.